So I got a little garter snake hanging out right there. Just hanging out. I don't want to scare him. I want him up there. See, when you see snakes, any kind of snake really, but like if you see a garter snake or you're seeing snakes in a particular area, like normally a snake wouldn't come all the way up here. They generally hang out in, you know, under logs or wood or somewhere where they're hidden. But if you see a snake hanging out like this up here, more than likely there's probably a mouse up here that's coming up here eating seeds and little things that may be getting left around. And so they come up here. Yeah, they might come up here for the sunlight and everything too, but they come up, when you see them up there or wherever they're hanging out, they're in that area because there's rodents. Because that's what they eat. And so he's waiting for that little mouse that's been coming up here doing some kind of damage here and there. And he's waiting. And that mouse is going to get eaten up by that little old garter snake right there. But, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of garter snakes around here lately. And usually, like I say, when you see them around, that's a good sign. Because that means they're keeping some of the mouse and, you know, rodent population down. So that's uh, good that you see, you see them there. But again, I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to leave them there. You know, if that's where he wants to stay, that's where he stays. But yeah, he hasn't moved. I've been in here already a couple of times. I just went and grabbed the camera and came back. And he's still there. So we're going to leave him there. And let him keep the rodents in check. Because the rodents out here, if you don't have anything to keep your rodents in check, at least where I live, they will literally turn into like the movie Willard. If you never seen the movie Willard, Go watch the movie Willard. It's about Willard the rat and it got out. And there's they show you like what it's like if rats get out of control. I mean, they're literally everywhere. You got to have predatory animals like this. Or else the rodents will just completely go out of control. And, you know, you, you have to have these uh, predacious animals. And so he's over here. He's controlling the mouse population. That's why he's in here. That's why you see him up there. He wouldn't come up here. I've, I haven't seen a snake on top of here. I lived here 10 years. So it's the first time I've seen one up here. And that tells me that there's probably rodents running around up here. You know, I have over here a little cup full right there of beans. The, the, rats are, the rats and the mice are probably coming up here to eat the beans. And the snakes are coming up here to eat the mice. Yeah, he's, he's just hanging. You could look at his eyes. Oops. You look at his eyes, you see how they're round? You know it's not a poisonous snake. Venomous snakes, I've said it in my last video, but venomous snakes in general have, you know, slit, slitted eyes. So, but I don't know if this is an old time snake or... Um, you know, because there, I found several times I found snakes pretty good size in here. You know, maybe twice as thick as that. Garter snakes. They get they garter snakes can get pretty thick, and I found them basically about twice as thick as that. A little bit long, I'd say, probably maybe a little better than two feet. But this one doesn't look like a, a two footer. It's probably one of the babies from me the last year or maybe a year before. But I'm starting to see them around here a lot, and I'm starting to see a lot less rodent damage, you know, to things around, you know, less holes being dug around the pots and stuff like that. So, yeah, he's just hanging out. He won't move. He'll just sit right there. I'm dying to pick him up. I love garter snakes. They're great. They do bite a little bit. It's you're not. It's not that it's venomous or you're going to get diseased or anything, but it will scare you if you've never been bitten by a snake. 
And I personally don't like being bitten. I have been bitten by these before. It's not terribly bad, but it's not fun either. It's just creepy and freaks you out a little bit. And, but their bite isn't bad, you know. Yeah, but you don't want to get bitten by them. They're not, it's, they're very docile animals, you know. They're not, like, if I put my hand over there, he's not going to go strike me like, you know, an aggressive snake. He'll slither away. He'll run away. But if I start grabbing him, he might. They can bite you, yes. Garter snakes can bite. But they're not real bad, so. But yeah, he's hanging out. We're going to leave him alone. That's his That's his office right there. He's hard at work for me. He's working harder than Chico. Chico's just kind of sleeping right now but i i can't i can't say chico isn't doing his job because the other day he brought in a really fat chipmunk uh, it's one of the chipmunks that's eating my stuff around here the strawberries probably and some of the other stuff and he grabbed that fat chipmunk and brought him right up and he let him go see that's the thing chico lets him go and then the chipmunk takes off I I didn't have a chance to step on it or something to stop it. But, yeah, that was probably the chipmunk that's doing damage around here. And um, he lets them go. Whereas the garter snake, they will eat them. They will eat whatever they get. And believe it or not, that little tiny little head over there, that head will actually eat the whole, uh, the whole mouse. He'll swallow that mouse right down, believe it or not. I don't think it'll eat a chipmunk, but it'll definitely eat a mouse, though. So, and they do eat other bugs and stuff too, if I'm not mistaken. They're not, they're not like a, you know, a rat snake or something like that, you know, which I wish I did have around here, to be honest with you. Wish I had rat snakes and all that other stuff because, yeah, they, there wouldn't be no chipmunks around here. But yeah, that's it. That's my buddy right there, the garter snake. If you see him around, you know you're in good hands. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.